Did you know there's different kind of cookies? And no, we're not talking about chocolate chip versus oatmeal raisin. Cookies aren't sweet treats, but packets of data on a computer that store information about a user's activity on a website. You probably encounter cookies every day. For instance, if you go to a website to check the weather, you'll probably type in your zip code. The site will use cookies to save that information, so the next time you check the weather, it will already know your zip code. Cookies primarily fall into one of two main categories, first party or third party, which we'll explore in this video. Cookies serve a necessary function in the modern internet, but not all cookies are created equal. For instance, many companies like Google are planning to turn away from third party cookies, which you can read more about in the link above or in the description below. While both first and third party cookies contain the same information and perform the same function, aka tracking data, they differ in how they're created and used. First party cookies are added by the website publisher or owner, with the intention of creating a more positive user experience for future site visits. This might look like saving voluntary personal information for a faster login, or remembering what a user added to their shopping cart the last time. First party cookies are also known as session cookies, as they track a user's session on the host domain only. Because these cookies aim to improve site access, they generally have a more positive reputation than the other types of cookies. Third party cookies, as the name suggests, come from servers or domains different from the one the user is visiting. Third parties place these cookies onto the user's device through websites with scripts that load the third party's code, usually for advertising purposes or enabling third party services. Third party cookies, also called persistent cookies, remain on a website until an admin takes them down, although users can disable cookie tracking on their browsers as well. These cookies won't necessarily infect a computer with malware, but users should know which type a website uses. Third party cookies get a particularly bad rap, as marketers mainly use them for advertising purposes. As regulators and consumers alike apply pressure to protect online privacy, large companies are blocking third party cookies on their websites. But when used correctly and with the right intent, cookies can improve user experience. Do you use first or third party cookies on your website? Is the third party cookie near death? Share your thoughts in the comments below and be sure to hit that like button.